Use integration by parts to evaluate the general antiderivative of x squared cosine 3x. So let's start by prepping this a little bit. This is the cosine of 3x. Now since we're going to use integration by parts, let's set up our table right here, u column and our dv column. Notice that we have an algebraic term and a trigonometric term. So we'll let u be the algebraic bit and dv be the other part. Now for our table, we're going to differentiate the u column and we're going to integrate the dv column. So we're going to have a 2x here and a 1 3rd sine of 3x. And we just do this again, differentiate and integrate to get a 2 on the left and a negative 1 9th cosine of 3x. Once again, differentiate to get a 0 and integrate to get a negative 1 27th the sine of 3x. And since we have a 0 here, there's no more reason to continue on. We'll stop the table and put in our arrows here. A diagonal on the first, diagonal on the second, diagonal on the third. We're sort of stuck with a horizontal here. And then our sines, plus minus, plus, minus, and then an integral in the last one. And now we can just read off the value. We're going to have uh, this is equal to positive x squared times 1 third the sine of 3x. Then we're going to have the next arrow, that's a negative arrow, negative 2x times negative 1 ninth the cosine of 3x. Now we read the third arrow off, that's a positive arrow, so plus 2 times negative 1 27th the sine of 3x and then we'll read off that last arrow that's a negative integral of 0 times stuff so now let's just clean these things up we're gonna have a 1 3rd x squared times the sine of 3x the next term we have a negative negative so positive 2 ninths x times the cosine oops sorry that cosine of 3x next we're gonna have negative 2 27ths the sine of 3x. And last, we're integrating 0, which is a constant. So there's our answer. It's worth pointing out that, in the, like in the other examples, we could pull out the biggest denominator, a 1 27th, and be left with a 9x squared times the sine of 3x plus 2 times 3, or 6x times the cosine of 3x negative 2 sine of 3x. This expression times the constant. And that's a slightly simpler version of it. And either one of them is acceptable for us.